I think there's two kinds of poetry. There's white poetry. Over 40. And written on a piece of paper. Then there's urban poetry. Under 40. The white man is the devil. The white man, it's Martin and Malcolm. It's like Laurie Anderson. You're getting sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. I'm on the cusp. I'm not white or black or Neorican. I personally don't believe in poetry slams. I think it's ridiculous. Yeah. I give Walt Whitman a 9-8. I give Yates a 9-9. I fuck it, I've been drinking a 10. What is that? Poetry, what does that mean nowadays? The closest I can relate to poetry is it's the lowest paid art form in the world. There is no poet who makes a living. You can teach. The second lowest, performance art. But that's justifiable. Most performance art sucks. As far as I'm concerned, there's Lori Anderson, and then people pushing shit out of their anus. They deserve to starve. Make that whole art form die and start over. So poetry, huh? That's what you've chosen to do with your finite time on Earth. I found this book in the trash. A hundred of the greatest poems ever. I got through three poems. Whitman, Yeats, and Dylan Thomas. That was it. The rest of them, crap. But then most things are crap. Performance art. It sucks because there's no standard. It's basically you have a trust fund. How do you get past that? You spent decades working on your craft. You're mining your own brain. You're digging. And you hope you hit a vein. Some kind of jewel. Some kind of wordplay. Poets are all about the word. It's all stuck up. He's got ADD. It's all about wordplay, right? It's all stuck in here. But what about your balls? What about your guts? What about tapping the unconscious and going deeper? Sometimes you get lucky. You can't count on feedback from your parents. If you think you're enlightened, go live with your parents for two months. And then there's your peers, the hecklers. Jennifer Blowdryer said, beware of the art trap. That's when you care what 25 people think about you. I did really good today. I sold five chapbooks. The best thing about poetry is you're never going to get paid for it, so you're free. Every time you go on stage, you have the chance to say something profound. I'm Master Lee, touching you. Richard Tressam, thanks you for watching, everybody.